Hi, everyone. This is Cindy of Praying at the Heart, and I'm back with my June junk journal. So I kind of got a little bit behind. So I've got June today, and then I've got July and August that I'm combining into one, almost done. Um, then I'm going to make my September one in advance and um, start working on my October daily. So basically, this is a, a rift of creative practicality calities. Um, her tutorial, I'm making a really simple junk journal using envelopes, which I still did here. But she, my other ones that I've done, if you go look back at May um, and her wet on her video, um, she sews a binding, a really simple twine binding, which I did not do. I actually used my long range stapler and just stapled it because I just needed it to be done quickly. And it's it's working out OK. So um, I used an Echo Park collection that I got from Tuesday morning. I also used the last of my um, yellow seam binding, which I might buy more of because they have something very similar at Stampin' Up. I just really love it. And obviously, since I used it up as a closure, I forgot to do a closure for my other one that I have on my desk right now. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But anyway, here's the back. Here's the front. They're like five by seven envelopes. Um, so it opens up and I do a little pocket right here. And I actually use the four by six card that comes in the um, collection to make the envelope. And then I just made a simple tag. This is my um, tattoo one. And I got a tattoo and what I wrote here. And then um, girls just want to have sun. So I have my, my daughter and my niece in the pool. Um, and then we went to knots. So I have pictures of knots and a little bit of journaling. Um, John's Incredible Pizza. So I use like, um, I use some of my dies to cut down different sized type stuff to fit in here. And then this is a paper bag. And there we go. And I did like a little doily. So, I mean, it's not that junky because I just, I don't have a lot of junk in here and I don't do any coffee tea paper because for me, this is supposed to be a quick and easy project. Because I don't, junk journals aren't my main game. So um, I keep it really simple. So I just stapled this card, um, my son, baseball, his little team. I have this baseball washi, which I love. I got from Doodlebug and more baseball because he was in all stars. He's a TOC and then he had all stars and then my daughter's recital. So I have pics and um, some journaling on that. And then this was uh, Dave and Buster's day. Afterwards, we went to eat. And so here's a little get that. I used just the little um, cut aparts for that. And then um, the girls went to Disneyland. And my son went to Disneyland. I went two days in a row. We did some journaling uh, and I put the tickets in here. Our fast passes and tickets went in there. And then we went and tried these rolled taco ice cream things. And then here's my son spending time with his friends and then it just ties up and that is what we did in June 2019 so I'll just write the date right here and just a simple project I'm not sure what I'm going to do like when I do a year I'm going to do a year of junk journals and what I'm going to do for next year I'm still debating whether I'll just do one big one or um or what but I did really like using these because I got to use collections and it takes I wouldn't say maybe half the collection it might take. So you're left with another half of collection that you could do something with. Um, or it could be something I end up de-stashing because there's enough of collection to de-stash. But it's really a good way to, to get to use your product um, in, a, in a way that's fun. So thank you so much for watching. This is Cindy Crank the Heart.